Today on Nerd Out, we're talking about fire hose. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano, we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we're talking about Project Fire Hose. This is a little project I've been working on for quite a while now, so I'm going to give you a little bit more details on what it's all about. So, Fire Hose. It, um, it is essentially an API built on top of an engine that does transaction signing, bundling, and chaining. So transaction signing, um, Firehose does all the transaction signing itself. The, the goal of Firehose for me, or one of the goals, was to not use any, or use as few third-party tools as I could. So not use Cardano CLI or any tools from IOG or Emergo or anything like that. So it does all the transaction signing itself. It bundles similar transactions together to save on transaction fees and then it also is capable of chaining transactions together to give you a lot of throughput. You don't have to wait for new blocks to arrive before using and spending the UTXOs from previous transactions. So it can get, uh, you can fully saturate the network with Firehose if if that's the case. Um, it also has a transaction buffer built into it and this is in case the mempool is full on the network. It'll just sit there and wait until there's space available to add additional transactions. So it keeps the, the network running at full capacity. Um, if there's like a large token airdrop or something like that, it'll, it'll move everything through Cardano at the maximum possible speed. Um, then it communicates through many protocols to directly to Cardano node. There's nothing else in between and then eventually stuff gets out to the Cardano network. Um, so the first thing I'm building on top of that is this website called Pool Perks. Um, pool Perks is designed for delegators and pool operators. So it, it's kind of if a, a pool wants to give additional little NFT perks to their delegators for delegating, um, so delegators, you know, they, they go to the site, they enter a receiving address, they pay a small transaction fee, and then the delegator gets a random perk from their pool operator. And this is limited to one drop per wallet per epoch. Um, so it, it'll also encourage if you have a small pool or your, your pool's trying to gain delegation, you know, you can put some really, really cool perks on here and use it as a marketing tool. So it's also used as, as a marketing tool for uh, pool operators. So from a pool operator perspective, um, the whole system is free to use. So you register your pool, you use SIP22 to verify your pool. I'll walk you through that in a little bit. And then you would define your perks, your NFTs. Um, this should be as simple as uploading some images. We haven't built the UI out for this yet, uh, but it should just be uploading the images and setting you know, what percentage of the time this particular perk gets dropped on a delegator. And then of course, use it as a marketing tool to tweet out what perks you have available for your pool, get people to stake to your pool to get your drops. So hopefully we'll get a lot more people moving around in the ecosystem um, once this goes live. So this is the delegator experience. Of course, this is the jank mock UI I've built. I'm, I'm working with um, another developer. I guess I'll say his name, Adam Dean. He kind of out of, outed himself on Twitter as helping out with this project. Uh, but he's going to do a lot of the UI work. This is just my mock UI that I kind of built to give him the idea of essentially how we'd want it to work. Um, Again, this is on testnet. If you have some testnet data and you delegate to my, my pool here, you can actually get some of these testnet drops. But yeah, this is the, the mock UI. And then you would click on get perk. As a delegator, you would enter a receiving address from your Cardano wallet. And this is used to check to see which pool you are currently delegated to. And then you submit that. And then it'll come back and give you um, all the available perks from that pool. So in this case, I have four perks defined. 
uh, from, you know, copper, silver, gold, and the space metal is really hard to get. So only 5% of delegates will get that dropped every epoch. But, of course, you can come back epoch after epoch and try to get that one. And if you're a pool operator, you can do something similar. If you want to have, you know, different rarity levels for different drops, um, keep people coming back, collect them all, jump around to different pools, collect everybody else's perks. That's kind of the, the idea of this thing. And it will also validate that receiving address, ensure that it's staked to the correct pool, and then the delegator sends a, a fee to make the whole transaction happen. Um, it, it'll mint the token, bundle the token with other similar token drops, um, and then it'll fire that off in a chained transaction manner. So if we get 100,000 people hitting this at one time, that's, that's totally fine. The system can handle that. So from a pool operator experience, this is very, very mock UI. Um, and I'm kind of showing what it looks like on the production system right now. Technically, I guess you could register already if you have a GitHub account with this URL. Um, you won't be able to configure any of the, the perks or drops yet. All you could do is just like set up the account and maybe register your pool just to get ready. Um, so you click on the, you know, the GitHub link It'll take you to GitHub. You'll verify that you want to share your, your GitHub credentials with Pool Perks. Um, Pool Perks only gets the, the publicly available credentials, which is essentially just your ID on GitHub. Um, you know, we don't get your email address or anything else like that. So it's, it's still private. And then if you go to this settings website, here's where you can start to go through the verification process. You know, you can enter a pool ID and you have to put in your VRF V key. This is the public VRF key. And then the system will make sure that you're not accidentally putting in your S key because that's important to protect. But the V key is public. And then you'll submit that to Pool Perks. And Pool Perks will give you a challenge to verify your pool. And in order to verify your pool, you'll need CNCLI. To do that one of the latest versions and if you run this command and when you run the command locally you'll have to provide your s key and that is to actually sign this nonce challenge that pool perks created and then you'll paste in that signature that you get back from this command here submit it and then that verifies your pool and again this is all sip 22 there's another video about that if you want to check it out but it's a, a really cool way to verify that a pool owner is in fact the real pool owner and not somebody trying to impersonate it. And that's what we have so far on Pool Perks. Again, it's coming soon. Go ahead and follow the Pool Perks Twitter account. I'll leave a link to that in the description below and stay tuned for more up and coming stuff. We'll let you know when it launches. Nerd out.